So we're here back at Fiesta, Texas for Fright Fest. It's a Friday night. Um, I'm hoping to get through all the houses and try and catch all the shows that I can. I know they're not doing Motley Ghoul till tomorrow, but Carol's not here because we did do Halloween Horror Nights for two nights and then did Hollow Scream in Orlando and uh, that wore out her foot, so she's resting. But the zombie uh, prom is in about 20 minutes. But yeah, the park currently is not at all busy. Um, I got pretty good up close parking. So hopefully it'll be a light night. Got this from uh, previous years. They dye the water red and goldy washer. Zombie prom, oh, that was good. Um, definitely family friendly. Definitely must see if you're coming to Fiesta Texas during Fright Fest. But it's from, I think Saturday to Sundays, it's one o'clock, three o'clock, and five o'clock. And on Fridays, it's 6 p.m. So you'll probably have to plan accordingly, accordingly to catch it. So I'm either gonna go to a haunt right now or the uh, arrival see uh, how much because I know the haunts open up at 6 and the arrivals at 7 it's uh yeah it's currently 6 30 so um, we'll see how much time I have to uh, spare So I've already done two houses, which was Buried Alive and Slaughterhouse 6 Extreme. Actually, they made a small change to Buried Alive. Uh, you go down an old elevator, but also, uh, you know, I went, it's still, it's still like slightly after 6, like 6.30. Going into Buried Alive, which is like a pitch black house, I could barely see. So there was that added uh, effect and, and jumpiness to me. That I could not even see anyone that was jumping out at me. So it was really great. Um, and Sauna Hop 6, they, I mean, that's one they warned you before going in. There's a bunch of flashing lights. So if strobe lights kind of give you a headache, maybe skip that house. Um, both of them, I went in alone. No one else went with me. So, so far at FBS of Texas, all the houses I've gone to have been by myself. But now I am waiting for the arrival, which should be here in about 15 minutes. got done with the arrival. It's the second time I've seen it so far. Felt like there was a lot more fog this time. But it's great. Um, less of a crowd right now because uh, it's Friday. Um, there may have been more people that rolled in. It's a little bit later. It's about 7 o'clock now. Well, after 7. But I've done two houses. I'm on to the, the boardwalk to do the uh, twi new Twisted House again. Hopefully not by myself this time. Um, then I'm gonna wrap back around and do uh, Trapped. I'm gonna do Trapped. And then uh, kind of go on from there. Oh, I lied. I thought the rock kill is right here. So I'm gonna do that house really quick. Because that one typically has a weight. Uh, the zombies aren't in this scare zone just yet, but I wanna hit all the zones. Then I'll probably come back around and uh, do the scare zones. 
So you hit all the zones, I meant hit all the houses. So I was going to just keep on doing a view each time I went to a new house, but I got them all done and it's, man, got to hit my face, 7.35. So now I'm just going to keep on going around and going to the different scare zones, I guess, to check out the code, which was my plan. I didn't think I was going to get done with the houses this quickly, but it was a Friday night. Everything else was basically a walk-in. Um, only two of the houses I did go in alone. All the other houses um, I had a group with, uh, that I went with. But they were all great. It's um, been fun so far. Uh, it's been great that everything's a walk-in in the scare actors. I mean, I thought there would be maybe a uh, sparsity of maybe scare actors, but no, there's there's quite a few in these houses. So, so far I haven't seen any in the um, scare zones though. Or I haven't seen much in the scare zones yet. But I just got out of the last house, so let's go check it out. Rock Hill High Scare Zone, always good. Did the cemetery and the boardwalk. So far, the houses I remember from last better are better than last year. Granted, we came on like a Thursday last year. So far, this is really great. Making our way to Rock Apocalypse. I got a few. Uh, I got to hear a few snippets of it um, last uh, during opening night. So I'm excited to see the full show tonight. got done with rock apocalypse it was very good love the song choices um i this is my first time using a gimbal so i'm trying to get used to it it was great great music great singers oh that rendition of um uh, dream on oh my goodness that was amazing um i'm definitely gonna put that in the video but yeah definitely some great songs in there definitely worth checking out um but now i'm gonna see if i can do the one other kind of, I think, I don't know if it's a scare maze or scare zone or whatever, but also I haven't walked through Crack Axle Canyon uh, during 
uh, fright test yet. So let's go do that. Um, it's almost time for the monster stop. Not monster stop. What's it called? Monster bash. So it's almost time for the monster bash. Uh, so I'm gonna make my way to the amphitheater. I believe got to do a kind of review. And um, also, I've been switching between my phone and with the gimbal and this. So hopefully, the footage turns out all right. Actually, while I have some time, might as well sit here and do a quick review because I got about three, three to four minutes. I will say, buried alive. I went in there after six, after the arrival. So, or no, before the arrival. So it was still sunny outside. That is a, you're stuck in a mine basically. And so everything was pitch black. I could not see a thing. I was the only one in there getting jump scared, but it was great. I would totally do that again. Um, and I will do that again with Carol. I did a second walkthrough of uh, Twisted. Wasn't as impressed the second time through, but um, Tangle did show up this time. He wasn't there last time I went, which was kind of later in the night. So I'm excited about that. And that was the first time I actually got to do it with people. So that was fun. The kids, the kids that were behind me, the kids behind me, like ran past me to get out of there. Uh, Slaughterhouse Extreme, that one I went through alone. But that one uh, had the strobe lights. That one probably got my heart racing the most not because of jump scares but just of how much was going on and just just how much they amped up like no not that something would happen because like, you know nothing's gonna happen but uh, like you know it's made it made it uh, a rush to go through and of course rock hill high i went through there with um oh no i forgot trapped i'll come to that back back to that one but with rock hill high i had two girls with me who were probably maybe teenagers 14 15 something like that that um they made me go in front of them and um oh my goodness that house that's probably the best house here you definitely need to come if you're coming to uh fright night fright fest you definitely need to do that house um i'm gonna do it again with carol she's probably gonna get scared she's uh do what the girls did no carol wants to go in front but she might go to the back but yeah they were just the, mo the scare actors were jumping out, following us, banging on stuff, doing all they could to ramp it up. And it was so exciting, so exciting. And uh, for the last house trapped, that's kind of the, um, uh, what would you call it? Kind of a psych, psych work or gone wrong. 
Uh, I actually ran into the same two girls there too, and uh, they did the same thing where they held onto my backpack um, until we got all the way through and just got through all the jump stairs. That one was also great. But now I'm going to enjoy the muster mash bash. <laughs> So I just got done with the Monster Mash Bash. It's good. I'm hesitant to say it's not as good as last year. I feel like the dancing was better, but I mean, you can't really beat last year's song. Oh you can't really beat Master Puppets or uh, I think they did running up the hill, running up that hill, and then also, um, oh, what was it? Worlds Apart, that was an epic opening to last year, I believe. But still good, still worth going and checking out. finale always on point a lot of fireworks it added drones this year which is phenomenal it's always nice nice little touch um yeah so that's the night for me at least i think the park's open for another 20 minutes but i'm gonna head on out yeah it's a it was like i'm 
my first like full night at Fright Fest, and I'm pleasantly surprised. I've been to like you know, been in Orlando, HHN, and Hollow Scream as well. The production and everything else is very, very good. Um, I never did check out Nightmare Fuel, um, but <laughs> yeah, let's see. trying to talk through the scare zone is probably not a good idea. As I was saying, production is very good here. I'm blown away because we came, like I said, we came, we came here once last year. Wasn't terribly impressed, but they've stepped it up this year. I'm excited to come back, do it all again. I don't know if I'll do another video, but if you can, make it out here. Make it out to Fiesta Texas for their Fright Fest. They do an excellent job. All the scare actors, thank you. Um, everyone who's watching, thank you as well. And also, and I haven't been saying this in the last couple of videos, but you know what would really help me if you guys would remember to take your daily vitamins. And also like and subscribe, you know. But, you know, until next time, that was a horrible snap. Not but. No, 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 no. Fear. Don't worry, there's a guy with a chainsaw behind me.